years ago, we did a really bad job with our steering column wiring, and it's caused a few problems, including a short in our taillights. But we're gonna see if we can fix that with a Deutsch connector. Ooh. <laughs> Hi guys and welcome back to Ellie's Garage where my dad and I are restoring a 1965 Ford Falcon to become my daily driver. And we're learning as we go. I have a problem with my tail lights. When I hit the brakes, the majority of the time this happens. But if I mess with the wires like this, then they both come on. So we know that there's not a bulb out. But I think I know the problem and who to blame. Basically, this is two years ago us problem because we didn't realize that there were such thing as uninsulated connectors that needed a completely different crimper. So, us being the people who did not know what they were doing, <laughs> just kind of used our insulated crimpers and called it good. And then when that didn't work very well, we used tape. Cause because that's... <laughs> cause that's good wiring. So clearly this side is the problem. But the reason we haven't replaced it yet is because those connectors are really hard to find. Like, we don't even know how we got them in the first place. And that's where our friends at Wirecare come in. So we are going to be trading my column connectors for a single Deutsch connector. After hearing from a few Falcon people, it was a consensus that trading our 6-pin connector and 2-pin connector for an 8-pin connector was not going to harm anything. So that's what we decided to do. You can easily go onto Wirecare's website to the Deutsch Connector section and pick out whatever specifications you need and add anything that is specific to your connector. You can pick a two or four six pin connector and add on any kind of accessories you want. So it makes it really easy to find the exact connector you're looking for. So I'm gonna start by taking everything apart and documenting where all these wires go so that when we redo this, I do it correctly and don't create another problem. I feel bad for this wiring. I feel like we need to apologize. Who do we make a formal apology to? Do you see this? Nah. -uh. Wait, let me pull it back. Look at that. That's just crushed Do on you there. see those? Look how bad that is. Before I started cutting all the wires out, I wanted to make sure that I had documented what wires go to what. Most of the colors matched, but some of them didn't, so I just wanted to make sure we would get them right in the end. Okay, so ideally these would be longer and I could just cut them off, but that's not how we did it because why would we make it easier on ourselves? <laughs> So, I'm going to take off all of this tape so that I can cut them as close as possible so we can have the longest length we can. Can I cut them now? Uh, if you can see where you want to cut, yeah. I do. Yeah, I can. go for it. Because then I can slide the tape off. Okay, and then these we have to do the same thing, right? Uh, yeah, so you're basically, now those you can cut wherever you like because yeah. those are plenty long. I'm just gonna leave the length and just cut them as short, uh, as close as possible. To yeah. It's like there's not tape. All right. Yay! I broke everything. Okay, I'm gonna get this started by stripping all of these wires and getting the Deutsch connectors on this side. There are a couple of different sizes of wires, so you can get different gauge connectors. Um, so because we have different sizes, we have different ones, and the ones with the green stripe are a little bit bigger, and I think I'm just going to start with those. Get them out of the way. Because their connectors are so specific, they have a special kind of crimper, which looks really cool and crimps from all four sides simultaneously, which is really fun to play with. <laughs> so you're supposed to put the connector in, then the wire, then crimp until it lets you let go because it'll stop and hold so that you don't like under crimp which is really smart <laughs> so crimper again first time i'm doing this this goes in there okay just double check that's good okay i have twisted this i think it'll fit uh. There we go. That's that's a really nice connection. That looks pretty. Does that seem pretty secure? Is is that is that just as good as our our tape? I, I think it's 
pretty pretty accurate to the tape it. Okay, now we're just going to do the seven other wires. They want to make sure you got it on there tight. For me, I like to get the length that I cut off correct the first time. Uh, so I hold this up, mark where I need to strip the wire. So now that I have the proper length stripped off, when I put the connector on, I'm going to be able to see the wire all the way to a little hole that shows you if the wire is far enough. So, now you can see the wire in the inspection hole and you know what got to set. Alrighty. Okay. Now that all of the connectors are on, we're going to put them into the pigtail. This connector is numbered. I think I'm going to put the horn wires on the, the leftmost side, so they're gonna go on one and eight. So I'm gonna start on two. And we watched a video, so you should just be able to take, so two's right there, and you should just be able to press it in. Okay, that's so weird. I don't even understand how that happened. Hey. Huh? Did it just go in nicely and then yeah, but like it looks like a whole plastic piece. Uh -huh. You know how it looks like the orange plastic? I thought the whole thing was going to go down and it doesn't. Yeah, it's rubber. Yeah, it just, it's, it's like a... It's rubber? Yeah, it's, or it's like a some kind of... What? So it was easy to put in? Yeah. Now I'm just going to continue looking at my reference picture and just kind of put them where I think they go. Double, triple checking. Ooh, it snaps when it goes in. Uh-huh. That's nice. Can you see them on the other side? They look all kind of oh, like the same. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's really nice. That little snick is satisfying. Yeah. So look, that's the six pins. Two are left for the horn wires. So green's in what number? Green is going to be an eight. That... That looks cool. That's really cool. <laughs> That's really cool. Okay, last thing you do is you put a wedge in. So, I don't see any orientation. I'm double checking, <laughs> triple checking. It looks symmetrical. I'm just going to put this in. You're good. Oh, satisfying. <laughs> yeah, and that stays on. That's on nicely. Uh -huh. Now that we have this done, we're moving on to here, but they're up higher and kind of more difficult to do, just leaning in, so I'm in a new position. Got it. Okay, so I have them all in there. There's another shim. Shim? Right. A wedge, yeah. Wedge. Uh, for this side. Okay, yep, it's in. Nice. Okay, that's all done, and now all we have to do is put it together. I thought we were done, but when I tried to put them together, something had gone wrong because we weren't able to put them together. So, clearly, we had a problem. Okay, so clearly I was having trouble for a second, and that's because I accidentally flipped everything 180. The connectors only fit together one way, and I put them in the wrong way. So, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to unpin one and repin it so that it's correct. But, the good thing about this is that it's really simple to depin these, and it's actually quite cool about this company that they make it so idiot-proof. You should just be able to take the, what are we calling this? The wedge. The wedge. I keep wanting to call it a shim. I worked. We're good. Everybody go away. <laughs> <laughs> so you break the little thing right. that holds you it in. You move the tab. Uh-huh, uh -huh. you move the tab. And then it has a little notch that is just perfect for this size screwdriver. And you just push. And then pull.
break that. Did you see that? Uh huh. Push. Pull. So now I just have to put it in correctly this time. <laughs> this time I double checked everything. I made sure the connectors were turned the right way. I made sure all the wires were in the correct spots and everything was okay for us to pin and connect the Deutsch connector. Okay, that looks good. Just double checking at this point that it does go in. Okay, that does. So this matches. This, I double checked. This should be right. I did not mess it up this time. Okay. All right, cool. You ready to connect it now? Yeah. This should work. Yeah! Look, they're not coming apart. Nice. And it's got that cool little tab release thing if you yeah, ever need to. Yeah, if I ever need to. I'm not going to do it now. No, yeah. But like, you... push here and then pulls apart. Well, let's go see if everything works. Oh, please work. <laughs> okay, the battery's connected. All right. Yeah! No shorts there. Wait, no, you do it. I want to see. Oh, yeah. Oh, now people won't be like, your brake light's out. Yeah! What I'm taking out of the garage this week is that it's never too late to go back and correct a mistake, especially when it comes to wiring. Thank you so much to the team at Wired Care for sending us the Deutsch connector. It was really easy once I had them turn the correct way. And quite honestly, I'm looking for different places to add new connectors because I would definitely be willing to do this again. Special thanks as always to my executive producer, Drew Carter, and all my patrons on Patreon. Thanks for watching, consider subscribing, and I'll see you next time in the garage.